This one is better. Always. You want to wall climb? With your hand? Even? With the... With the angle of the wall. If the angle was like this right here, you want to have your hand like that. You kind of want to wall climb like that. Now some people do it like this. I do it like this. L's don't help. Because the hitbox is not in your fingers. It is right here at your knuckles. So yeah, don't... That, this is not where the hitbox is. This is where the hitbox is. So it's going to touch with your knuckles. Not your fingers. This won't matter. All, all it really gives is better grip. Because you hold the whole thing down instead of just... You know, avoiding the triggers. I only do L's because I want better grip. But it does not help at all. It might help when you're starting out. To like... Look away from the wall you're hitting. Until you're used to the feel. Also, looking up and down, people say sometimes. When you look up or down, it helps. It doesn't help, because look, I can do it straight ahead. And I'm still doing fine. It is just a thing that people say again. All, all it does is move your body closer, because your neck has to move. So really, all it does when you look when you look down, it moves your body closer. When it moves, like it's not very significant at all. It's like that much. But still, it is movement, so if you're like really up close to it, and you're doing it, I suggest you don't look down. Looking up might help a little bit, but probably not. Because once again, it's going to be the slightest difference. So don't worry about that. You're not going to learn it immediately. It's going to take time to learn. You're not just going to watch this video. And then, you know, just instantly do everything I say and then immediately be able to wall run up. It's not how it works. You're gonna be like, oh, that video, it helped. <laughs> it's not gonna work like that. So don't be like mad if you can't do it immediately. When you do it, if you, if you can get two jumps in and start the third, you're most likely going to be able to do it within a week, depending on how much you practice it. If it's going to be like 20 minutes a day, maybe within a week. But if you're doing it like two hours a day, you're going to learn it in like two days, bro. Maybe even quicker because people are always different. I've seen people learn how to wall climb in literally like half a day. But yeah, this wall, never run up this one. This one is only for emergencies, but even then it's still such a bad wall run. Because not only is it very common, but it's actually just not as good as the wall over there. Because the wall over there is better to practice on, because it's more slim, kind of like this one. It doesn't have much of an angle, so... With this angle, it makes it easier to do, and so it's not very good to practice on. Maybe if you want to, you can sh first do it on this, and if you start succeeding on this, you can start doing it on that wall, and then eventually get to like walls like this, where there's almost no slant at all. And kind of do it like this. Now, of course, I like use the slant right there, but for the most part, there's almost no thing here, and I just did it right up. Also, this is mentioned very much in other tutorials, where you have to feel the vibration and then move. Don't do that. When you, when you hit the thing, you hit the thing. Unless you have, like, terrible Wi-Fi, or your delay is just for some reason bad then you should follow that rule if that's the case but if you have great wi-fi like wi-fi 6 5g i don't know if you have good wi-fi and you don't have delay 
for a little delay. When you hit the wall, you hit the wall. Don't wait for the vibration, just move. Because if the vibration doesn't come up, just slam your hand against it, bro. Don't do like, you know, because this is going to get you flung off. Push from wall to wall in little movements. Nothing much more than that. Now, of course, what's going to help you is not starting right here and being like, because <laughs> it's so hard to start like that. You want to be a decent distance away. Put your hand in front of you and kind of boost yourself up so you have a good start. That's always going to help. Also, I see some people asking me in DM sometimes, how do you get in no lobby and like are still able to go around and stuff or are in a private lobby without being lava monkey and all that well it's simple you turn off your wi-fi on your headset if you're using pc vr you're just i guess you're just gonna have to turn off your wi-fi on your whole pc but if you're if you're doing it on quest you just turn off just go here right go here and see this you turn that on turn that on and off that's all you do Oh, well, I don't think you can see it, but if you can, you know, you just turn, there's a switch right there inside the wire. Just do that, just do that. That's pretty much all there is to it. I don't know if this is going to be like a two minute video, a six minute video, or a 35 minute video, but, um, yeah, that's about it.